Alright, what's going on guys? I'm going to show you how to idle multiple accounts. Uh, I'm doing this video after I did the tutorial, so I actually forgot what I said. So, this is basically the modeling. Um, I don't use this, I never do this, I'm just doing it so other people can. So, you can see there's two accounts here, idling. After a while, this guy will kill himself, there we go. And this dude will spawn, he'll kill himself. Pretty funny. Um, for some reason, I can't join the server. I don't know what's going on. But a bunch of bugs. So yeah. Anyway, um, you can see it's obviously working. Um, they will pick up loot every time they kill themselves. Um, well, not every time they kill themselves. Whenever a loot drop happens and they kill themselves, they will click it. Um, haven't clicked it anything yet because I don't use this method. Like I said, um, well, I don't actually idle whatsoever. Ever I actually play Team Fortress Two. So um, whatever. Um, the original founders link will be in the description. Uh, you need a powerful computer, so yes, let's get started. Alright, what's going on guys, you can see I've turned off my um, idle accounts, my virtual machines, so the both of them are off, just to show you the purpose of this tutorial, and it's so buggy, I didn't want to show you on, on while I'm recording, because it just pisses me off how buggy it is when I turn off these virtual machines. So, maybe because I'm using an external hard drive, I don't know. So, you want to go to the link in the description, which is... Um, this here. Now, you're going to need to buy this, buy the software. It costs money. Because, obviously, I don't know if it actually costs money, it just says free trial, so I just reckon it does. Um, now, there are other ways to get this, because I've seen other ways. Um, it's not too hard to get this program. So, just download it, or get it from somewhere else, we have the full version. And, once you've got the full version installed, I don't care how you get it, just get it. Um, not by 10. Um, once you've got version, once you've got workstation 10 installed, you want to start her up. Now, once you've started it up, you want to go to here. Oh, well, when it starts up, it'll be on this page anyway, so you don't really need to go to it. It'll be in tabs, um, if you don't know how to get to it, and just click home, it'll take you to it. Now, you'll be in this tab. Now, first thing you need is an operating system before we can actually do this. So you're going to need Windows 7. Um, I recommend Windows 7 because it's just easier and all that jazz. Um, I'm using Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit on both of these um, virtual machines. So yeah. Um, once you've got an operating system either on a disk or mounted as an image um, to here. Um, people that pirate games a lot will know what that is, and or uh, some other way. Um, just click on create new virtual machine, and go typical because it's easier. And if you're using a disk, select this. If you're using a mounted image, or the fuck, select this and go browse something. And if you don't, if you're not still it later, just click that. So if you're using a disk, just click that, and it should already be selected to it. And go next. Now, if you're using a correct one or something, just type in 11111. Just use 111, just, it's easier. So, and then select home, put in name. Um, no point putting in your password, because no one's going to hack into it or anything. And go next. Um, call what's name of your virtual machine, mine's going to be faggot. So, once you've named it, uh, this is an important part. If you have low disk space and, only, and you want to use an external hard drive like I am, um, and go browse, you go computer, and select your external hard drive. Now, I would not recommend a USB because it'll probably destroy the USB. Because I have my hand on my hard drive right now, and my hard drive is so damn hot. So, yeah, I've, I'm just using my hard drive because I can't bother using space for my actual. Um, local disk so yeah just find somewhere to install the operating system it's where all your folders i mean all your just everything on that virtual machine will be installed so if we install a new folder everything from the operating system will be installed in there so choose a new folder or whatever you want and go next now um if you're only going to use it for tf2 idling choose between 20 and 30 gigs so i'm going to go off 25 because, yes, actually I'll choose 30, because my TF2 fold is pretty damn big. So, I'm going to choose 30, and 
yeah, if you're not going to use it just for TF2, um, idling, then choose whatever the hell you want. Um, now, just, this should already be selected, so just leave it as it is, and click next. Now, this is another important part. If you don't have a very fast computer, just go customize, and change the amount of memory you want it to use. So, if you've like, 4 gig about RAM, change it to like, 1 gig, or 512. Um, I would recommend at the start when you're installing the operating system to use 2 gig and getting all the files and stuff just use 2 gig and once you've got all the files you change it back to 1 gig 1.5 to 1.5 to 512 um, in between there is a good range um, it does get a bit laggy at 512 so yeah I'll just recommend 1 gig or 1.5 um, yeah and now the processors, this is obviously a CPU, so just change it to whatever you want, like 2 2, yeah, that obviously will go pretty fast. So just leave it at 1 at default. Um, and we'll talk about this bit here later. So, yeah, once you've chosen what you want and all that jazz, you can add new things if you want. As you can see here, so whatever. And once you've done it, click close and click finish. Now, actually, don't click finish here, untick this and click finish. Now, once you click finished, a bar will come up and it'll start loading. Once it's finished loading, I'm not going to do it because it's really time consuming and it takes hours for it to install. So I'm just going to use one of my um, idle accounts. Oh, I don't actually use this to idle, it's just an example because I saw some people commenting on how to do this. So I don't use this to idle, I just use it to run two or more accounts. So this is what it looks like when you install um, the virtual machine. So as soon as you install it, you should see it pop up over here. Just click it. It'll take you to this. Now, it's not it's not as complicated as you think. It looks complicated, but it's really simple. So you can edit your settings once they're finished. Um, once um, it's finished installing. So if your virtual machine's running, you cannot um, you cannot um, edit any of this because obviously. So, yeah, so, you want to click power on this virtual machine. Now, if you get an error on startup saying um, Intel VT or something, go to processes, go to here, change this from automatic to Intel VT, and then tick this. And then click OK and start up again. If it doesn't work, you need to go into your BIOS on your actual computer um, and turn an Intel thing on. You need to turn something on. Just search it up. You'll find it. I found it, and I turned it on, and it worked, so, yeah, let's say fix that, um, now to power it on, I'm going to power on both of my, um, both of them, because I'm going to run a server on, um, this one here, and this one's just going to be the idle count, no, so right now, your one won't start up, you want to be installing Windows, because every time you start a new computer, you have to install Windows, you know, even though it already installed it, it was just configuring it, you know. So, yeah. Um, also, you'll notice that you can't move your mouse out no matter what you do. If you pr no matter what you press, you're going to move your mouse out. To move your mouse out of the window, you need to hold Control alt Once you hold Control then alt your mouse should hop out. So, that's how you move your mouse out of this region. So, if you're in the BIOS on this, and you want to move out, just, yeah, it's, it's pretty simple. Also, if you want to go to the BIOS on your virtual machine, just right-click on it, go power, and then go down to BIOS, power on, it should go straight to the BIOS. <laughs> Dumb skeleton. So dumb. It's got a lot of blood on it. Alright, so we can see that this one's taking a hundred years, isn't it? We can see that it started up, and for some reason I can't see. Here we go. So yeah. Also, these here just to make it bigger, um, smaller again, or just these are just the window configuring things. Doesn't really matter. So yeah, I don't know what's repairing it for. Did I select that or something? Alright, so, um, now we move on to the next step. Alright, so, the next step is, um, getting, f 
fuck. So, alright, so, let's get that out of there. The next step is, let's get this out of here, it's fucking annoying. I hate windows that do that, they underlap the, uh, the taskbar. Alright, so, um, let's, you're gonna need three, three, three things, um, obviously Team Fortress 2 Steam and this mouse record profing. Um, if you don't want to risk, if you don't want to get risks of VAC ban, um, like, VAC ban as in get banned from every single server of TF2 and unable to trade your items, um, don't use this, um, like, you can use it, like, I've used it, like, obviously you saw me at the start of the video using it, but, um, you, you are at risk of getting a VAC ban. You may not, you may, you may, I don't know, but, I do use it at times and I've never been banned, so, um, you're gonna need to install, install Steam. So, it's usually, just go to the internet and search up Steam, install it, blah blah blah, it's pretty simple really. Now, once you've installed Steam, you're gonna need to install TF2. Now, if you don't want to download TF2, there is another way. There, you can get it from your main computer. Now, in order to do that, let me just start this one up because um, that's going to be the one that must. I'm going to run the server of this virtual machine. So, and that server will be hosted for both these accounts. Um, now, you're going to need to install TF2. Now, obviously, downloading is it's going to take forever, and it's obviously a huge waste of time just for an idle account. So. What you want to do is you want to go to your main computer, go to computer, go to start, go, go to computer, go to your local disk, go to programs, go to just locate your Steam dictionary. Um, go to it, go to, and once you locate it, go to Steam apps, go to common, go to Team Fortress 2, and now there is two things here you can do. You can go to your virtual machine, open up your Steam folder. Um, go to Steam Apps again. If there's no Steam Apps folder, create it. Um, open it up. If th and then go to Common. If there's no Common folder, just create one. And now uh, you can either drag TF2 from here into there, but just because it's I've never done this way because it, I see a bar pop up that loads, but it just took too long. It just can be bored. So um, there's this way. You can just drag it straight over. Or, this this way does take a while, this next method I'm going to do, but it works. You need to copy and paste this TF2 folder onto your desktop. Now, this took me for ages because my TF2 folder is 18 gig. So, yeah, as you expect, it took a fucking ever. So, I've already got it on my desktop, so... Um, just put copy and paste it onto your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, go to your virtual machine. Just leave that open. Go to start, go to computer, scroll down on the on the bar on the left hand side, go to networks, um, and find your main computer that you're actually running right now. Click on it twice and you should see a security thing. If you don't see a security thing come up, just just don't worry about this. Um, now, just type in your password for your login. Now once you're in this stage we see users, just click users, click your um, user, go to desktop and find your TF2 folder. So here it is here. Now once you find it, just drag it straight over to Steam Apps fo um, common folder. And you just wait for it to be done. And once it's done, you're nearly ready to go. So, um, now you're just going to need this program. So obviously, just search up Mouse Record Pro 2. So, I'm just going to search it up because Actually, I'll search it up on here because it'll be easier. Close enough. Um, now, just click the first link. It's easier. And it should come up something like this. A wee picture like this. Just click download. Um, click the server and blah blah blah. So on, so on. Link will be in the description. Alright, so. Just because it takes too long to load a virtual machine um, into the browser. Alright, so once you've um, downloaded this program and you've installed it, uh, nearly ready to go, you you just need to edit this. So, open up your Mouse Record Pro 2. 
Yeah, this is open yet. So open up Master Record Pro 2, the text will be wild because only one gigabyte of RAM dedicated to both of these. Also my computer is kind of under quite a lot of stress because I'm recording at the same time. So I don't really, yes, I don't even. No one cares if it stopped working, it'll work in a minute. So damn buggy. It's not gonna work, is it? Right, so um if you if some if the if it freezes for you and can't do anything, you can use the um C control alt delete. That just if you don't know what that does, um just no, just don't do it because you probably screw up your computer. Right, so once it's loaded up, uh Go to edit. I'm doing it now because when I load up Team Fortress 2, everything's going to go white and it's going to be hard to see. So that's why I'm doing this mouse cord thing right now. Um, go to go to edit. Go to settings. Um, change this to none. Change this to none. Put this one as up. So just click on it and press up. Change. Click on this. Press down. Arrow key. And once it's done that, press OK. And uh, administrator function come up, press yes, and it'll restart. Um, don't click it because it's restarting. Alright, just load you up. Whoa, you're from playing Team Fortress 2? I wonder who it is. Hehe, <laughs> I'm a TF2. Get out of here. Also, there is sound on these virtual machines, just turned it off because it's fucking annoying. So, yeah, you can see it here. Now, I don't know where the fuck it's to start off or usually restarts. Alright, so, once you've done that, go to advanced and change this to zero and click OK. And now you're ready to idle with that. So, once you've done that, just start up Steam, like you usually would on your main computer. And it's updating. Oh, it's going to have to install some updates, isn't it? There's a new update that just came out. Steam's like, oh, there it's there. Alright, so, um, oh yes, actually I'll wait for a second before I do that. So I'll show you something else. Alright, so, um, once you've loaded up TF2, go to library, and you should, you should see TF2 in, in there. Um, if you don't see TF2, then, um, just did go to the, go to store and go to the free to for play section and just click install TF2. Now, it won't install it from scratch if you put it in your Steam um, folder like I did. Um, it will install it, but it will find the files already in there and it will start um, finding them. Then it will just casually do this, put it in your Steam library and you're ready to play. So, once you're ready to play, just click um, play, obviously. I don't want to say stupid shit. Um... Okay, so that's opened up. I was actually meant to minimize this one here. Because this one doesn't have it opened up. The hell I click minimize, did you see that? Screw it, I won't do that one. Alright, so once Team Fortress 2 is loaded up um, on your account, I'm using this one here because this one's taking too long. Okay, it's already loaded. Okay, once you're loaded in, 
actually I'll, I'll use brand name 650 because um, th this one doesn't load a server some, for some reason um, you want to click this plus here create new server you want to find item test you want to click it you want to go game change this to 9999 change this to 999 don't put way too many nines because sometimes you put way too many nines it screws up the game and put number of players um, host name and put a server password I just put mine as one because you know I have do have port forwarded ports um, ports and then AC my server and I don't want people to join randomly joining my server so once you put these in just click start and it'll show up here in a second um, it should start loading the uh, the server now there's one problem even though it's LAN um, sometimes your main your main account on your computer can't join it. Like yesterday it could, but today it can't for some reason. I don't know, st stupid as bugs. So we're just waiting for it to load. So yeah, if you guys need any help or something, just comment or ask the actual founder of this method. But like I said, his channel will be in the description so yeah go ask him stuff um also if you want to create something like multiple accounts like this if you want to create another one but not do all that stupid as install the the os and stuff um all you need to do is right click on the one you just installed go down to also i'd recommend installing tf2 and all of that stuff before you clone your um virtual machine so yes we're going to clone it so you just go to you right click on it and you go down to manage and you just click clone and it'll start cloning it and once the bar's loaded there'll be a new one sitting here um, it did take quite a while but I left it overnight to do it it didn't take that long but it would have took a few hours max so here we go we're in the game Alright, so it should pop up once you're in game, just type one. Okay. Got some lag there. Damn, look at that lag. Don't know why the cable's not working. <laughs> to be honest, it's probably running into some, some other in some people's well, in some other people's machines. Um right, so basically once Oh yeah, I have to wait, don't I? Because it's not opened on this one. So we're just waiting for it to join. So you just show you how buggy this is, obviously if the server's on here. See, it's not even on here. Yeah, I can join it, join it with this one. And it's LAN. This is how buggy I can get. Also, it's white because bugs. But it doesn't really affect the idling. Not that I know of, but anyway. Why would color affect how you idle? Dun, 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 dun. Is, is he in the game yet? Jesus. It takes so long. Dumb. Also, if you're going to join servers, that takes so fucking long. Depending on how much RAM you put on the virtual machine. Man, it took it takes so long just to join a, um, a server. So if you're going to idle online, eh. I'd recommend just starting up your own server like I just did. It's way easier. And most of the time they change levels and most of the time they shut down and always crash. So you're better off just creating your own server. You should be in by now. Yep. Alright, so just join the game. Choose whoever you want. No, I don't want coaching. So I'm gonna go medic because I can kill this faggot, whoever he is. Oh look at that lag, isn't it great? 
fantastic. I'm so grateful I don't have a machine that this 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 laggy. Earned an achievement. Holy shit. So you can see it went back to normal. I don't know why. It's so damn buggy. And it's white again. Stupid fucking bugs. Alright, so once you're in the game, this is what you're going to do. You're going to need to inv um enable developer consoles console so go to options go to keyboard when it shows up go to advanced and tick enable develop console once you tick that you want to type the wee um, squiggle line underneath escape button type in bind space let's type exactly what I'm doing um, kill um, also it will be in the description so if you can't see that well just look in the description plus jump okay so let's type exactly that type bind space slip um quotation mark kill um whatever the hell that thing's called i forgot um plus jump and press enter now every time you jump you should die now this is a good thing this is what we need all right so once you've done that you want to go back to actually i don't think you need to go back to your program so if you if it's closed, open this back up and edit all the things again and fi so yeah, let's fix all that up. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press up, wait ten seconds, then jump, then press up again. So let's press up, count to ten. Press space and press up. Now this should minimize Team Fortress 2. Um, if it doesn't, then uh. but now um, hopefully it recorded because it didn't look like it did. If you followed my instructions right, it should have. So now if, if we press down, he should kill himself randomly. If he doesn't, then we we did something wrong. And he hasn't, so let's have a look see what's wrong here. And we can see that the program's not responding. So, we're going to have to do that again. Because it's not responding, stupid little program. Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, this should work for you. You should be idling away right now. Oh my god. So thankful to a machine that's this is fucking slow. Well, so if you leave this at one, idly will not work. So you have to put it at zero. Okay, now it should work. Let's do that again. Okay, so we press up. Wait 10 seconds. Okay, that's about 10 seconds. <laughs> Space, press up again. And it should minimize and show all these random things. Now, once, once you've um, done what you want, um, just save it. And if you're Saving it just saves all these settings so you can do it again. New just um, does a new one, so if you screw it up, just click new. Now, if we press down, should just magically kill himself. So if we just hop on over to this, we can see that he just killed himself. So, just be because that wasn't 10 seconds, um, he'll probably die every time, he's, every time he spawns, um, which we don't really want. So, you want to put it at around 10 seconds, so you can see he just spawned, you can shoot him and punch him and shit and he just killed himself so that's basically how you idle um with multiple accounts uh just do the same exact same thing you did on this account on this account i mean on that account on this account or your other virtual machine and just keep doing it over and over until you have like a hundred virtual machines and then you'll be idling like a pro so that's basically it um also to get out of this, don't use escape because this will not work, he won't kill himself, well he probably will, but um, he won't idle, and he won't get the drops and stuff, so um, you have to you have to use control alt to get out of the window in order to actually idle, so yeah, and that's basically how you do it, just do the same thing this account and be good, and just leave that overnight. This is act, just leave this dude overnight right now, and you'll probably come back in the morning and see he's got some drops. So, 
thanks for watching. Um, if you need help with anything or something, ask the actual founder of this method or me or something. And yes, that's basically it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Let's actually see if I can join the server yet. No, it's still fucking bugged out. Right, so yep, no, thanks for watching. If you need any help, just comment, um, like, subscribe, subscribe to the original founder of this method, and yes, have some fun idling. Also, you can minimize it while it's still in it, so it doesn't really matter if you minimize it. So yeah, no, thanks for watching, and see you some other time.